this is Roxas1359, welcoming you back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time, we beat up blizzards in the Skelos Badlands. So now, let's head off to the Crystal Glacier. Okay, Crystal Glacier sounds like it's from a show also, or another game. It honestly sounds familiar. And see, it is a stark opposite. Boosties! Why didn't he move out of the way? Yeah, don't question it. Free them! Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Hmm. Good to know they have the priority straight. I need to know who voices these little guys. Their voice actor is hilarious. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Okay, sounds simple enough. So, get on. They give each other boosties. And we. All right, now comes the ice wizards. Where being a fire-breathing dragon rules. Die. Where being a fire-breathing dragon rules. Right. I wish we could breathe ice. Hmm. Really, when it comes to like, oh yeah, that is. These are walking snowballs, or what? It, give us our butterflies. They're sentient walking snowballs. So we're in some part of the ice kingdom. I'm gonna assume. Right. Free all Eskimos. Now, I'm pretty sure... Did I say what these are? I think it's kind of self-explanatory what those things do. If you blow fire on them, they explode. There we go. Watch. We'll help you Iggy. Find this wall up ahead. All right. Sounds good. All right. Get away. Pop. And there we go. Okay, that was weird. Why did I fall? Is that a gem? No, that's just the sentient snowballs. That is their name from now on. They are sentient snowballs. Anyway, it is... I find it interesting that it... Oh, weird snow rabbits. I find it interesting how I'm doing a snow level so close to Christmas. I still need to think of what I'm going to be doing for... Uh... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. Wait, I might be able to... No, I'm not going to live. Dang it! I think that's three deaths I've had. And I'm actually pretty much halfway done with the game, to be quite honest. It's not a... It's somewhat of a long game, but if you know what you're doing, which isn't very hard, it's not a long game at all. Weird rabbits. Anyway, as I was saying before, before I fell, I don't know exactly what it is I'm going to be doing for Christmas when it comes to like video wise. Now I have something planned for game anyone, but I don't really have anything planned for YouTube per se. Um, for game anyone, that's when I'm gonna be debuting. I'm gonna be doing a little video for them. And then I'm gonna be, uh, what I'm gonna be doing is, What I'm going to be doing for game anyone is I'm going to be doing a little video from a future game I'm going to be doing that has a Christmas themed level in it. And then I'm also going to be uploading Medieval. Now the hard part about this is I don't have access to my good internet to the good internet at SDSU. So that's why uh, for the rest of this week uh, it's just going to be one episode episode. I gotta budget this in a certain way. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Your small fees make me bankrupt. 200 gems? Okay, that's not as bad Thank as Thank you, before. Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracos that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. It's Huracos! According to Fear Jim, I was actually right the first time I called it Huracos. 
And then to my other friend who I can never say your YouTube name, but Fiji man on the escapist, my good friend. He pointed out how the electrols sound like SpongeBob. I actually never noticed, so then I went to check. And I was actually right on my assumption. They're voiced by Tom Kenny. Alright. Now this world only has, I believe, two orbs in it. And to get one of them is fairly annoying, actually. Now, if what I do right now, I'll be able to end off the level, but there's still more I have to do. Right? Oh, hello. You. Right? Pop. Question, who's, who straps dynamite to a glass bottle? Who does that? Sentient snowball. I declare war on all, on all snowballs and all things snow. I am just bitter because I do not, I do not get to enjoy snow. Only been in snow one time in my life. And it was so short-lived. Anyway. Hello, shaman man. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclets. Draclets? Bring the snow leopard back. Now, this is very, very easy. Now, I love snow leopards. They're adorable. Like, I love a lot of things that are cats, but I love snow leopards in general. Anyway, here's the little guy right here. We have to follow him this way. You might be seeing these fish. Right? Come on. Get over here. Where'd he go? Ah, okay. Now, just wait. And, there we go. And he devours the fish. Bones and all. That is actually kind of not healthy. In some ways. My cats, whenever they catch a bird, they don't eat the bones. Anyway, that's what we have to do. We have to help the little snow leopard George out by getting him fish. Okay, the way he's um, just staring at it attentively uh, reminds me of a story of what Sandy did one time. Sandy was sleeping right in my backyard and every once in a while we get gophers and what ended up happening was really hilarious as he was sleeping a gopher popped up out of the ground and hit him in the back now that we well now that we've gotten all three of the fish for him george will follow us anyway back on to the story uh sandy was so startled he just jumped straight into the air and for the rest of the day he was staring at that one gopher hole trying to get that one gopher <laughs> i was laughing so much and so was my mom it was hilarious you found george i'm so glad he's safe i'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on all i have with me is this round shiny thing i caught while i was fishing you can have it you can have it okay i will take it and that is the first orb of Crystal Glacier. Still trying to think in my head of a level or a world in games that is Crystal Glacier because I know for a fact there is another world that is called Crystal Glacier. And it is going to bug me. Anyway, now that we have killed all of the enemies in the area, uh, these guys actually don't count for souls, and that is for a certain reason. I'm going to be getting the gems right there for now. These are draglets. They're annoying. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draglets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? Hmm. Sure. Great. But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Trust me on this. This is annoying. So, use the Superfly power-up. There are 18 draglets. And I already missed one. Well, I guess it's kind of good because I need to get the gems that are right here. Now, you can't um, charge into draglets. Sentient snowballs must die! Alright. There we go. There's more gems. Ow. God dang it. 
Dang it, Sparks. Now, let's go back since I failed at trying to get that. And there are some gems that I am missing, I know, and I think I might know where they are. All right? That's one draclet. That's two. Three. <laughs> they make a funny noise when they die. Kill. 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 Death to draclets. Death to all draclets. That's gonna screw me. As you can see, they're already re-multiplying again. Right? Should be able to catch it. One. Zero. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Very well. And there is the second orb of Crystal Glacier. That takes care of that. Now there were some gems that you saw over down inside the caves still that I need to get. And then after that, we get to go and free the village chief. And there we go, and I am missing some gems. That's not good. Okay, they're over this way. See, I always seem to miss gems inside here. Inside this world, it always seems to be in similar spots. Okay, that's up above ground, so it's not underground. Normally, I miss one underground. I'm gonna use a super fly, actually. Oh, wait, no, I know where they are. Duh. Oh, man, I can't fly above? I know where they are. We still haven't freed the chief. Duh, there's some inside there. All right. As you can see, our super fly doesn't work up here. But now, let's free... Eskimos. Two. Three. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look okay. out below. Okay, I don't know what you guys are gonna I think I know what you guys are gonna do. They must really want those hockey tickets. Strike! You'd think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Oh, the irony of it all. But there we go. That is the Crystal Glacier Talisman, and that is by far the coolest looking talisman yet. All right. I didn't mean for the flag. All right. And gla Crystal Glacier complete. So, let's get the heck out of here. Victory! <laughs> Takes that whole saying, if your friend would jump off a bridge, would you, to literal sense. But, with that, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359, and I'll be seeing you guys next time!